So Funko's made Freddy, Leatherface, Jason, Mike Myers. Like, what else am I missing here? Yeah, Chucky! Hey everyone, this is Tracy. Hello. What are your favorite Child's Play movies? One and two. See, I like Bride of Chucky and Seed of Chucky. No love for three? Mm. Yeah, three sucks. But Curse of Chucky's pretty good. Anyway, this one's labeled Child's Play 2. However, he's got scarring on his face, which he doesn't have in Child's Play 2. And these aren't the right kind of scars to be a Bride of Chucky pop either, so... This is going to be an interesting one to review, so let's go unbox this and check it out. Now as far as this packaging saying Child's Play 2 goes, MGM made Child's Play 1, but Universal did 2 and 3 and Bride and Seed and Curse. So if they're going to start with what they have the rights to at Universal, it's going to be Child's Play 2. I like what they've done with the sculpt on this figure. I like the size of his body compared to his head, and I think they did a good job with the dimensions overall. I also like the fact that it's like a classic pop in that his uh, legs are bent at the knees, his, his arms are down, but he is holding the knife, so it's a nice little touch. Now taking a closer look at his face, like I said before, he doesn't get these scars in Child's Play 2. He does have scars in Bride of Chucky, but these aren't the right kinds of scars. There's not enough of them. His face is way more jacked up. So I don't know why he has these scars. If they want to do a straight Chucky, they shouldn't have included these. If they wanted to write a Chucky, they should have done a lot more. This is a really weird idea. Beyond that though, his eyes are really clean, his freckles look good, and this actually turned out pretty good with the way the paint matches up to his hairline. I've uh, seen some problems with that. Um, and the eyebrow is really well done here. The fact that it's painted on and it kind of meets the hair and there's no problem where it bleeds over or smears or anything. It looks really good. Uh, what else looks good? His sleeves, all the different colors that they use, and they're all very clean lines. It all looks really cool. Also, the tiny Good Guys logo on his overalls looks good. Buttons are decent, but his shirt looks really good, including the way it sticks out at the bottom of his pants. I also really like the way his shoes turned out. In particular, I like that the red stays within the intended lines, and the lace lines look good, too. I also like they have these little wrinkle lines kind of cut into the sculpt. I like the little cross section in the back and the uh, little elastic band. It's all very well done. You know what else is well done is his hair. I think they did a great job creating that little jagged line towards the bottom. All the groove lines look good, but in particular I like all the random tufts that have been like kind of sculpted in. Uh, I also like the way it looks in the front, the way those hairs hang down, and it creates a nice silhouette. Like overall it's a really nice shape. I think they did a good job with this Chucky Pop. I think it's a really cool design, it's a really good sculpt. And I think this pop in particular turned out pretty good. So a couple things I want you guys to be on the lookout for when you're hunting for this. We took a long time trying to find just the right one. And why was that? Um, there's a lot of them that have the skin paint going into the hairline. A lot of them. Yeah. Like we saw that on almost all of them. Which caused us to go to a lot of different stores and take a long time until we finally found one that we liked. One of the other issues I saw was that his hair bang reaches his eyebrow and the eyebrow paint would need to be smeared or like the eyebrow would be painted onto the bang. So these are things to be on the lookout for. Hopefully you find one that you like and you don't take as long to find one as we did because we shopped at a lot of stores. Thanks for watching.